The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Alas for you, Chorazin! Alas for you, Bethsaida! For if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in slack sackcloth and ashes. And still, it will not go as hard as with Tyre and Sidon at the judgment day as with you. And you, Kapanau, did you want to be exalted high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell. Anyone who listens to you, listens to me. Anyone who rejects you, rejects me. And those who reject me, reject the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is not only angry, but also grieved at the hardness of the hearts of the people of his time. Chorazin, Bethsaida, and the places where he walked around, Kafarnaum, were privileged places where Jesus and his disciples went, where Jesus spoke, Jesus taught and also many miracles were performed there. But in spite of all these signs, the people, especially the scribes and the Pharisees, were hard-hearted, refusing to believe. And that is why Jesus warns them of the impending danger if one refuses to believe when God speaks. In fact, he is telling his disciples these instructions. The one who receives you, receives me. And the one who receives me, receives the one who sent me. There is always a connection between Jesus and his disciples and Jesus and his Father. All the three are interlinked because it is the Father who finally sends. It is the Father who finally speaks. If we are also hard-hearted, we will also have the same judgment as Jesus warns in the Gospel. God speaks through us all the time, through various ways. And if we are attentive, if we are careful, and if we have the willingness to listen and to open our hearts, what marvelous things can be done in our lives also. Let us pray that we may repent and open our hearts to the words that Jesus speaks to us through various ways, through various prophets and through every situation that comes in our lives, that we may hear the Spirit speaking through our hearts. Let always our prayer be to listen to the voice of God. <coughs> he speaks through all your companions through the friendly to the foe. Therefore give ear to the Spirit, wheresoever he may blow. Listen, let your heart keep speaking, listen to his constant speaking, listen to the Spirit calling you. Listen to his inspiration, listen to his invitation, listen to the Spirit calling you. Listen. 
sin to the spirit holding you. 